get over it. Many people use drugs. Most people do not become addicted. But for those that do, we're asking for help. And we've designed our own help. And we want you all to back us in this help. It's the radical approach to combating Canada's opioid epidemic. A new report suggests providing regulated heroin to addicts through what's known as compassion clubs could save lives. On Vancouver's downtown east side, they know it. Heroin is the choice of drug. Now those working on the front line of the crisis are calling for regulated clubs that would give addicts the opportunity to buy clean heroin instead of those laced with deadly fentanyl. It's the conclusion of experts from around the world, including the Health Officers Council of British Columbia and myself as an addiction researcher, that through the regulation and control of the heroin market, we can actually reduce the number of opioid addicted individuals in British Columbia. None of those drugs have been approved by the FDA. Well, screw the FDA. I'm going to be DOA. The model follows similar programs in the 80s, which saw AIDS activists illegally buy antiretroviral drugs to combat the crisis, as popularized in the Hollywood film Dallas Buyers Club. The panel of experts believe that not only will this prevent deaths, but also counter organized crime. As we're talking now, there's thousands of people in British Columbia that are buying fentanyl adulterated heroin on the street, and that money's funneling up to organized crime. So we're talking about a regulated and controlled model where that funding would go to the benefit of the community of people that's using heroin. The heroin would only be distributed to members who've been screened for eligibility. Members could only buy amounts for personal use while also being linked to public health and addiction services. Up until now, most programs have focused on how to save lives, like providing these take-home naloxone kits. But with close to 4,000 overdose deaths in Canada last year, advocates are saying enough is enough. Things have to change. People are dying. Uh, we need to be able to try new things, things that, you know, maybe we just haven't tried before, but, they, you know, politically, we have to make some maneuvers that are brave. If 1,500 people died in, Every year in, in car accidents in this province, the speed limit would be five miles an hour. Let's get off sitting on our hands. We've got to do something. If it isn't this, do something. We're dying. In Vancouver, Tom Walsh, City News.